These little critters are what today's video is about. Scuds. Hey guys, um, I thought I'd make a quick video today just talking about scuds, also known as amphipods. Um, they're a quick, easy, uh, live food that almost every kind of fish loves to eat and are really easy to cultivate and you know keep around to uh, feed to a wide range of fish. So as I stated a minute ago, um, scuds, which are also known as amphipods, belong to um, Amphipoda, which is the order of uh, Malacostrican crustaceans. And um, basically there's over 9,900 different species of um, amphipods, but I'm about 80 or 90% sure these are uh, gamorous uh, amphipods, which are the most common that you'll find in the aquarium hobby. Um, they're full freshwater little amphipods. Um, they're detrivores, um, basically scavengers. They'll go around and eat pretty much anything they can get their hands on. Uh, dead decaying stuff, um, you know, dead fish, dead leaves, um, yeah, pretty much all kinds of stuff. For the most part, I get most of my scuds out of this, which is, um, my shrimp tank that um, I put all my coal neocaridina into and I actually kind of accidentally got the scuds in there and was pretty angry at first because they're really not fun to have around in a shrimp tank they steal food from the shrimps and you know, they're just not too nice to look at you can see and they burrow down in there you can see a couple of them going down there but after a while I realized every time I want to do a water change on this I just uh, stick the hose down there and suck out all the scuds from down here and then uh, pour it out into a net or a strainer and then I just have a whole cup full of live food to feed to my other fish which I have right here and everything loves them I drop them into all of my tanks I even often put them in with my newts and also with bettas and other fish that I want to uh, promote their hunting abilities because um, you know it keeps them busy and they really enjoy looking around and trying to find them and pull them out of the little crevices and watch them chase them down so they're a really great food for that and um, yeah they're pretty easy doesn't take much to take care of them, you know, as I said, they, they're detrivores, so you can just feed them all kinds of stuff. A lot of times I'll just drop a little piece of cucumber or whatever in there. Uh, you can even keep them in a bucket or just a jar or something, and uh, you might want to put like a, a bubbler or some kind of aeration in there, but, you know, they can really survive through a lot, so they're not very hard to um, start a, a colony of. I figured just to show how much some of these fish uh, love these guys, let me just uh, I'll get some of them. Yep. Let's see if I can uh, show you guys these guys eating some. Let's see how long this guy lasts. Oh, there he goes. Um, let me see if I can get a better example. Okay, I thought I'd go ahead and scale it up and just dump a bunch of them into here. And uh, this is what I do when I'm not really trying to separate them into a bunch of different ones. Or when I have a ton and uh, just want to feed a bunch. There we go. Look at them go! So the fish go crazy after them. And... Um, as they scuttle away, you'll see not all of them were eaten. And also you gotta watch out, they always stick in the bottom of containers. But the ones that got away, um, actually the eels in here love to hunt down. I'll see them digging their face down into the substrate a lot, trying to get them. So it's, uh, you know, a great live food that keeps, keeps all these guys busy and uh, hunting around. And they're, you know, full of a lot of nutrition and um, you know live food is always something you want to give to your pets as often as possible 
I also thought I'd point out, in case you guys noticed, um, this big old Filipino blue angel. I actually just got uh, him or her recently. I think it might be him. I'm always really bad at uh, sexing angels, but a customer came in and uh, was breaking down the giant tank they had, and I just couldn't pass up taking in this guy. What a beautiful fish. But yeah. One more quick tip uh, before I go. If you're actually looking to uh, farm scuds in like a jar or uh, buckets or you know, containers like these um, and don't want to have to dig through the substrate to get them and separate them from it, uh, you can actually keep them bare bottom and instead of any substrate, just cut up a sponge and... Uh, Put it in there they love to dig into sponges and will breed inside there and it's a lot easier um, than separating from substrate so i hope you uh, found that helpful and uh, if you did please like and subscribe thank you